everybody. Welcome to another episode of Hey Man, I'm Josh. I'm Jacob. What are you doing? I forgot that I don't like to wear this hat to the Just podcast. do it without. We can, do, we can go with no headphones today if you want. No, I like the way it sounds. We can hear each other without the headphones, too. I don't know why I like podcasting with headphones so much. Hold on. Let me see if how dumb does that look? Oh, hey, Captain. Pretty dumb. <laughs> Pretty, yeah. It, you... I can't tell if you're wearing a bucket hat or one of those small army hats right now. Like, I, <laughs> like I can't tell if that brim goes all the way around. What, what, Plus, it's like sideways. Is this better? This is a really unfortunate look for you. I'm so glad we're in a private space. Well, we're about to put this out on the internet, so how private is it? That's true. Uh, Are I, you going to rock like this the whole entire show? What else am I going to do, man? We can go. No headphones. No, I like headphones. I like hearing my voice very loudly in my ears. Don't do that. <laughs> I can make you really not like headphones. Do you not want to wear headphones? I do, but like, or I don't care, but you just look really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you just look stupid. Uh, do I? Yes. Okay, okay. What about this? It looks even worse right now, actually. You want to do this? No, not around your neck like a fucking DJ. All of those were different <laughs> DJ looks for you. <laughs> one's relaxed, one's really new to the business, and the other one's just like, fuck it, I'm on drugs. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, what do you think? Your hat was just, your hat just looks like not morphed to your head right. Yeah, it's, it, I don't know. Like, you see the gap right there on the top? Like, on your on your right side? Yeah, go down. You see that little, yeah, I see that little just like, it's just, just like a gap. Uh. It's the soft spot on your head. I don't have a soft spot <laughs> on my head. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this hat today, dude. I don't think it's the hat. I think it's your head. You think my head is misshapen, so it looks like this? I know your hair is super misshapen. Why is my hat look like that today? Yeah, you got you got dumb hat today. You got dumb hat. I don't. My hat looks like it always looks like. All right. Well, I'm just gonna we'll try this. Okay. We go to no headphones. You don't have to. Why? Why? I would it be weird if I'm in headphones and you're not? I feel like every time it cuts back to us, we should just like have a different have a different look. look. Yeah, yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, I'll put the headphones on for the video. Yeah, you can sure. pick whatever DJ you want to be when we put the headphones. On. Um, all right, everybody. Hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, I'm was, Josh. Uh, I'm Jacob. It was an interesting start. How you doing, dude? Good, man. How are you? First of all, a couple things. Let's get business out of the way real quick. Apologies for having to move the Sacramento, San Francisco shows this weekend. You you under, you make sure you heard the word move. They're not canceled. They're moved. Uh, your boy. Remember last week I was talking about how I might have to start taking a week or two off. Yeah. Hit me like a ton of bricks last week. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think there's a lot of things happening. I think I'm overtraining and under eating. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't think I'm taking enough days to do nothing. I agree. So I'm going to try to, uh, yeah, because I really hit a, a um, and a, like, energy wall. La was it last week? Or two weeks? It was like two weeks ago. Was it Buffalo? Yeah. And then, and then that week we went to LA. Yeah. And then, Dania Beach. And then Dania. Yeah, you just hit a wall. Yeah, I've been telling you to pace yourself. And also, coming from a guy who doesn't overwork himself, you need some rest. Like, you, I, you just need to chill out. There are days where it's okay to act your age. Whoa. What does that mean? You're 54, dude. So? You, I'm, for a 54-year-old, you are in spectacular health. You look great. You don't look 54. But if you look at some other people who are 54 and your age, yeah. they look a little more their age. And they have to act a little more their age sometimes because... They're not, they don't have the stamina and, and, and effort that you've put in over the last, your entire life. 30 but don't, years, probably. Yeah, but don't you think that the reason that I've been putting in the effort is so I can sustain this level a, of a life? A hundred percent. But what I'm saying is, eventually, your age catches up with you on some days. Not every year, not all day, mm -hmm. for the rest of your life, not multiple months, but there's like days where your body and your age are just going to meet in the middle for one day. And you're going to be like, I just, on those days, you need to listen to your body and it's okay to act your age. Like we're going to, I know we're going to have the same conversation as you get older because you're still going to want to push yourself to make sure that you stay on your feet and stay moving and so that you can walk because 
I know the day, if the day ever comes where you're going to need a wheelchair, you're going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm saying if the day ever comes. Okay. You're, and when you may need a wheelchair, you're going to be like, yo, I obviously am so glad I did all that moving, but why? it sucks. Like, but you need to be able to take the time, like on the days your body needs rest. Because you you probably won't ever need a wheelchair. But if you don't, nah, listen, but not. if you don't ever listen to your body, and you hit those walls over and over and faster and faster, and there's less break in between those days, it the decline's gonna happen. Couple things. First of all, the day I need a wheelchair is the day I take heroin. And number two, eighty five. It doesn't have to be. Listen to whatever day the wheelchair comes, the heroin comes the next day. We'll see about that. I mean, yeah. How are you going to do your heroin in a wheelchair? Well, first of all, I, I there's Uber. But also, I mean, I, I think I could probably get it delivered to the house. By the time you're 85? Yeah. I mean, I could get it delivered to the house right now if I wanted to. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I just don't want to. Hey, but you, you, okay. shouldn't, you shouldn't have that phone number. Um, I don't have that. <laughs> um, okay, so anyways, guys, thank you so much. We had such a great time in Dania Beach. The energy was crazy. I can't wait to put out some of those clips. Um, we, uh, we, okay. We, we landed and, uh, in Charlotte and from Charlotte to Dania, which was a Fort Lauderdale airport, uh -huh. our flight got canceled. And so. Or delayed. But it got canceled. They took us off the plane. So that's a cancel and it's a new plane. So that's a new flight. Oh. And when they kicked us off the plane, at first they were like, it's going to be 15 minutes. And we were like, cool. And an hour later, they were like, hey, everybody, get the fuck off the plane. Yep. And then Jacob and I walked down to, because we saw there were two more flights. One was on American, one was Spirit. So there was one flight. So we were like, we better get on that American. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, I met a Spirit mechanic at the meet and greet one of the shows, he had two fingers on his right hand. Really? Which was not great for... A handshake? No, dude. The handshake was fine. I don't care how many fingers you get from the handshake, but I would love my mechanic to have all 10 digits. Which two fingers, though? Um, um, he was, it, was the, it was the pistol. So he didn't have the ring or the pinky. He had a, he had a natural pistol. Bing, 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 wait, bing. wait. So three fingers. That's not a finger. That's a thumb. Okay. Sure. Yeah, and these two were webbed a little bit. They were kind of stucky together. Okay. So, I, look, man, I, it's just, here's the deal. I don't know anything about being a mechanic, but it feels like you want to, especially when you're in the airplane. Unless he's a supervisor. I, I did not say, he said he works on airplanes. Okay. It's like, guys, look, I don't, if you're a dentist and you're missing four teeth, I, maybe you're good at your job, but I'm going to go to the guy with all his teeth. And if you are an air, and I don't know anything about it, but I just would feel more comfortable with the 10 digit dude. He might be the best. Might be the best. Has. The fucking two gun dude might be. Beep, beep, beep. He might be. His one hand might be better than everybody's twos. And then he just fucking puts that gun right in the holster. Well, have you seen that? Have you, there's a kid that would like viral on the internet. I think like five or six years ago. And he has no, like he has arms, but he has no hands. And he just sits there and he rolls a blunt in under two minutes. It's like, listen, all I'm saying is like, it's possible I, my man is I, the goat. I, I am not denying that, that there are people with disabilities who are better at their jobs and people who are not, don't have the disability. Right. I'm not, and I'm saying this is my own thing and it's more of a mental but I, if in my car mechanic, and maybe I'm a little more lenient, but when I get on the plane, let's just have the dude with 10 digits. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not, listen, dude, I know it's dumb. Everybody listening and, and save your emails and you're angry. I'm, I'm, I'm a comedian. I'm part joking. I'm part not, but I'm part joking, <laughs> but, but seven, you know, 10 fingers better than seven is all I would say. Probably. Okay. Um, and all right. So we get to the gate and this dude comes up behind Jacob and we are at the gate waiting for the American flight. And he runs up, he's after us. 
And he goes, uh, he kind of says it loud enough for both of us to hear. And he was like, I really, I really need to get on this plane. And I was like, yeah, that's too. And he goes, I, I was just going to ignore him. Not me. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, my, uh, my girlfriend's dad died. So, and I was like, oh, we got to go for perform for some people who are alive. So, <laughs> I mean, he's going to be dead if you get there at eight. Right. So, <laughs> I mean, what, what is, and not only that, your girlfriend's dad. Uh, yeah, Yo, if man. it was your dad, maybe your girlfriend's dad, zero percent chance I'm nah, giving up my seat for your girlfriend's dad. Not a chance. Nope. Nope. Yeah, and by the way, you get there at six, you get there at eight, you're walking into the same situation. Still dead. Still dead. Everyone's still sad. Yep. So yeah, we didn't. And he he got on the plane anyway. Yeah, we we were first in line. He was second. So I mean, yeah, he, he was. But we were was there. I wasn't giving up. No, 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 nah, no. You know what I mean? No, no, yeah, hundred percent. And that's why I tried to ignore him because I knew he was going to give some, some excuse for or not excuse, but he was going to give his reason to why he needed to be on the plane. And I was like, truthfully, man, I don't really care. Like, we, I, we, I was going to listen. I said that I don't care. I'm going to listen. Well, but, I was just like, we got a show to make. So, yeah, like, we were close to not making it. Yeah, because it took forty five minutes to get an Uber at the Fort Lauderdale Fort Lauderdale Airport. I wore I and we didn't have our bags. I wore the weirdest thing I've ever worn on stage. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Because that's what I fly in, which is real all over the place. Yeah, it is. It is, uh, it's something. Anyway. At least it wasn't cold. You would have walked on, you would have walked on stage with a fur coat. For sure. Yeah. Um, great shows this weekend at Dania. Um, and then this coming up, we're going to be in, um, Atlanta and we're going to be in Huntsville, Alabama. The Huntsville, Alabama shows are always a ton of fun. Um, and so are the Atlanta shows. I'm super psyched to be at both places. Uh, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates, everybody. Also remember, again, I say this every week. People ask all the time, how can we help you guys out? There are two shows in particular, one in New York and one in Los Angeles. The Los Angeles show is on May 9th. It's at the Netflix is a joke festival. If you guys live in LA or are planning to attend the festival, I can only tell you that, um, buying the tickets early, make us look good. Uh, so if you can do us a favor and grab those now, that would be amazing. And then April 13th at the Gramercy Theater in New York City, we're going to have a bunch of special guests on both these shows. Woo. So come through. Same thing goes for April 13th in New York City. Um, all right. So, by the way, and Jacob and I shot some sketches that <sighs> were, are so fucking fun. But dude, you were so good. I appreciate it. And you were willing to really go there, which is what... That's the, what it takes. Yes. Yeah. That's what it takes for good comedy. Yeah. So it, And we... And so what we... I'm not going to say what we did. You can't. You can't. Because there's no way for us to give, like, just a vague description of what it was. Well, I mean, we could and also, talk about what the general concept is, but let's just let everyone see it. Yeah. Yeah. It, they were so good. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. I think it, within a week, we should have all of them... All edited up, and I'm going to give you just, guys, a tiny little preview. You may or may not see some of Jacob Wolf's cheeks. Not face cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Booty cheeks. Dude, what yeah. a great, that was one of the, per David is so good, man. That was such a good shot. Right? It's, 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 a, it's a tasteful, it's a tasteful shot. It's an art shot. Yeah, sure. Yeah, dude, it's, it's a, artistic. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it was fun. No, it was. It was it great. Was, it, was it was great. Time. It was a good time. Um, is there anything you want to talk about? Today? No, you came in with a lot of things, so I'm going to let you go. I have one thing I want to talk about, but we're going to we're going to wait towards the uh Are you sure? Yep. Okay. First of all, let me just say that I listened to Beyoncé's country song. One of them I think is really good. Okay. And one of them is a doo doo stew. Okay. And the one that is doo doo stew is doo doo stew. I mean, I just go back to it. I don't love her voice. I don't love the falsetto all the time. Fair enough. So that's all it is. But that first song, her voice sounds a little different and the beat is for real. Mm -hmm. And all of this shit, have you listened to either one of them? Uh, I've heard clips of the one that went viral on TikTok. So I've heard a little That's the one that's good. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. And I was like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, all right. By the way, I think this is great. I think, and, and there are a lot of people who are mad 
about like everybody's mad. A lot of people were mad about like she shouldn't be singing country fucking. Who does she think she's singing? First of all, she's from Houston, Texas. She's from Houston, Texas. You fucks. And second of all, because this dude, so I, I saw this guy, this Dukes of Hazard star, John Schneider, slammed. He he said Beyonce, he, when he was talking about her singing country, mm -hmm. the quote was, every dog has to mark every tree, right? Oof. I'm going to tell you guys something. If you know me, I'm not a dude who, I, I, I think it's terrible that people just use the word racist. Oh, you're racist, or that's racist. And it makes people scared to... I don't think discussion about other races or opinions or comments are racist. They're racial. They have to deal with race, but that doesn't make something racist, right? And when you're in, now there are a lot of racist people and there are a lot of racist comments. Okay. But I think it's, I think the label of it all the time, it's overused a little bit. You, you're more like you agree with the term racism. You're just saying that you think it's overused. More than it should be. I, I do. And okay. I think it makes people scared to discuss race and have an opinion. Okay. That's well, different from, you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah, if, yeah. You're, if you're not racist and you're called racist, that feels pretty bad. Right. So you're, right? This is not even a question. subtle racism. No. Not even closet. Not even, this is, I, this is just. Uh, outside of the non-subtle racism, I will say this. Look, man, as an artist who has constantly changed and adapted, and I still stayed in my comedy genre, mm -hmm. but tried a whole bunch of different shit, dude. Mm -hmm. You know, I did that. They made Sideways, the, the, the movie, into a, not only a play, but a musical. And I did that, and I walked out on stage naked. I saw your butt. Yep. I've done, I've done all different types of comedy. And, you know, my stand-up has changed from just telling a story about my kids to now they're grown up and I just tell different stories. So people, artists change because their lives change yeah. and their points of view change. And sometimes you just want to try something. Guys, this is what you want from your artists. You want your artists to be like, yo, I feel this. I would like to try this. You two did that electronic album. It had to be in the 90s, right, Matt? That feels like in the 90s. It ate not just one bag of dicks. Every bag of dicks that have ever been invented, that album ate. But good for fucking them to try some shit. Yo, you, you, I, it, 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 people are so, they get so upset when an artist tries something new. This is just straight racism. Um, and I, I, I don't, I don't use that word lightly, but this is, this is some bullshit. And for those of you who get mad at artists for trying new things, why, why are you mad? Uh, I, 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 I think I can explain. I, I don't get mad. Look, uh, I, I agree. I think artists should, and uh, well, are allowed to, and should evolve throughout their career. I think making the same music over and over again, sometimes we'll get repetitive and mm -hmm. especially for a listener I've hopped off some artists because I'm like this whole album sounds like your last album like, I, I, I just don't want to hear this same thing over and over again mm -hmm. it's where like the whole album just sounds like one song yep. and, I, and the production's not mixed up enough and I, I, I agree I also though however get mad at some artists when not mad but like for example I, I fell in love with Wiz Khalifa when I was like 16, 17 uh -huh. like his early stuff early albums uh, Cushion Orange Juice uh, Paper Planes, on IFC, like, those albums kind of made me, not made me, but I wanted to smoke weed after listening to those albums. And those were the albums that I loved. As albums went further and further, again, Wiz felt like he wanted to evolve his music and change it up a little bit. And so, as each album came out, I was like, yeah, there's, it was, for me, as an artist, who I liked him as an artist for, each album that came out, there were less and less songs that I liked. And so then at one point, I just got to it where I was like, oh, Wiz put out a new album? Yeah, I'm good. And that's nothing against Wiz. As an artist, I understand it. You have to evolve. And, you, and if you feel like you want to do something, you're going to do that. And I respect that. However, I just feel like the, his music route just completely took a different turn from, what he was, from where I fell in love with him. And I just didn't like the music that he was putting out. But sometimes as a consumer, you and the artist grow in different ways. 100%. Right? And that, I'm not. 
again, obviously, I don't know Wiz Khalifa personally. I'm not holding anything yeah. against him. It's just I, I just grew up from his music. Let me give you two great examples for me. One, one of the reasons I love the Beatles is because they grew. Rubber Soul could not be any different than Meet the Beatles. The 63 Beatles to the 67, 68, 60, they could not be any different. Right. Well, I love how that through that decade of their music, they were constantly evolving and trying different shit. Absolutely. And bangers each one. That's my opinion. Bang, they have four bad songs. Total. Okay? But I love that about them. And I think their fans did too. I was not alive then, but obviously don't say anything about how old I am. Um, but, but I, old. right. But, but, but they evolved. Yeah. You know, a, a modern example I can give you is a comic early Dane cook. I did not love, I respected him and still do. And, um, understood what, what, oh, who liked his comedy and why they liked it and what the demo was. Mm -hmm. I love his comedy now. Mm -hmm. Anybody who still equates Dane to early Dane, he's been through a lot of loss, lost both of his parents. I think it was either, I think his sister stole millions of dollars from him, right? I know, I need that. Cleared out his bank account. He's been through some life shit. This dude's comedy has changed. He has grown up. And I fucking love it now. But like, this is what happens if, 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 if we just stayed the same as artists, it would be stunted because we put our emotions in our life into the art. Right. And to be the same 15 years later feels like that artist might not be as, uh, isn't evolving as a human. When yeah, you evolve as a human, you're already evolved. Yeah. But this shit is just dumb. It, you, you know what I, I think also? I think in this world, two things. Every year, you should be given one bump and one punch. And what I mean by that is this. In your car, you should be able to bump one person a year. Just to teach people the rules of the road. One bump. Not a car wreck, but you get to fucking bink. Why are you an asshole? Okay, I think everybody should get one bump. I think everybody should get one punch too. Somebody should be able to walk up and just punch this dude right in the fucking face. I, I'm gonna tell you something I don't right now. I disagree dude. with that. I, I'm gonna tell you something right now. You learn a lot if you've never been punched in the face. I can tell people who have never been punched in the face before, because there's a there's a little swag to it where you're like, yeah, what the fuck? But, but people when punched in the face, you're like, oh, I'm gonna be a little more careful. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah Wait, but okay, this hold is on. Fucked so, up. so here's the thing. Does everybody else also get one punch? Everybody gets a bump and a punch. And no, that, no, 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 no. I mean, like, I get to throw a punch at someone, but I also get to get punched. But oh, is no, there, no, 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 no. You, do, you don't get punched every year, but everybody gets to throw one punch a year. So it means multiple people could choose to punch me a year. Ooh. No, let's change that. See, see, I have to ask these questions because, like, I liked, that, I liked it when you said it, but hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I hadn't really thought that out. Because then, you don't want it, like a million people punching you in the face. Bingo. Yeah. Everybody gets one punch. I feel like the world would might work together to figure out who to waste their whole punch yeah. on. All right. So let's let's knock the punch off the list. But I think everybody gets one tap. One little bink with their car. Get the fuck out of the left-hand lane. Bink. <laughs> Why back. are you two driving <laughs> the same fucking speed and taking up the two lanes? Bink. Just imagine him driving and just... Just everybody just go bing, 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 bing. Just like, I would bump into him in the fucking Dukes of Hazard car in the General Lee. Bing, bing. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, have you listened to this song? Uh, I've heard like clips of it on TikTok. Sure. Yeah. Like I haven't heard the whole thing, so I don't know how it progresses. I've probably just heard the chorus is what yeah. I would assume. But yeah, sure. Like it's all right. It's I've heard it a lot, so I, I'm already over it. But it's not a bad song. Well, as somebody who likes Beyonce... Because I, I, I don't, I'm not familiar enough with her music. And by the way, I want to clarify, I like Beyonce's hits. Yeah. I, so, but right. like, okay, but I, somebody who's familiar with her music. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. Is this such a huge departure? I know it's country and non-country, but as far as the sound, is I, it such a huge departure from her? I would have to listen. I would have to listen. Sit and listen to the whole song. I'd have to be able to tell you. Because, you know, in, in certain songs... It's catchy, man. Definitely. It's catchy. It's definitely catchy. She yeah. knows how to write a hit. 
catchy. Hands down. Yeah. Like that, uh, she knows how to make a hit and one that could be on the radio and online and on TikTok for the whole year. Okay. And I just know that. Yeah. But I, I just, I didn't haven't heard the whole song. So I don't know. I don't know what it sounds like, the whole thing. I couldn't even tell you right now off the top of my head what it really sounds like. But yeah, I, I couldn't either. But I know that I've heard it or clips of it. I know it's not like, it's not terrible. No, dude, it's super catchy. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. The only country I really don't like is like bro country. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, the, I get it. Like, like country, like what I think of country, I think like Chris Stapleton, Sturgill Simpson, like. Dude, did I hear Sturgill might never sing again? Okay, didn't he have a vocal cord injury? What a bummer. I yeah. remember seeing that concert. I went back to back nights in LA. I took your mom one night and I took Jonathan, Jonathan the next. Yeah. Jonathan had never heard of him. He was like, who is this dude? Fire. Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw him and Chris Stapleton. Mm -hmm. What's the best concert you've seen? I don't know. Because I've been to five Coachellas. So Coachellas. Sorry, my tongue. I, I figured out what it was. I think two days ago, I burnt my tongue eat, like, drinking coffee. Oh, yeah. And so I just have like fried. Oh, you got a little tongue issue. Mm. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Just like a fried tip of my tongue. Yeah. Um. So if I sound like I'm trying not to over enunciate things, that's probably why. Um, I've been to five Coachellas. I've been to an Austin City Limits. Uh, I've been to a lot of music festivals, individual concerts. Like, I don't know, but I've seen a lot of sets. Yeah, I've seen a ton of sets. So, for me, it's Prince. Oh, uh, Jack White in 2015. Was, Ooh, I want to see him so badly. Jack White in 2015 was. Oof, magical. Prince was, for me, Prince was just like... I, Super Bowl Prince? No, or you went and saw Prince. Prince. Oh, okay. Super Bowl. I mean, Super Bowl Prince, it's still the best halftime show of all time. It's not even... Yeah. I don't know the, how we could debate what... I, and, 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 and again, I'm not an Usher fan. It was a bad halftime before. Was it bad? I didn't like it. Did people like it? I didn't read about it at all. Uh, Alicia Keys opened it. Love her. Yeah. Holy Love her. Shit, she's so good. Yeah, she opened it. Yep. And then, but like, Usher has a lot of like hit hits, like Don't radio it. hits. Really? Oh, I couldn't, dude. Every song he played, I knew. Really? I was, and I was, I was it's singing. Getting hot. That's not Usher. Oh, cool it now. Not Usher. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's a new edition. I'm but, gonna go see them when they're here. By the way. But I uh. At one point, he was he was roller roller skating around like the roller camera. skating. Yeah, the camera was following. Him. I'm I, in for that. And man. I was like, "Yo!" I was, and I didn't I didn't see him put him on. And I was like, "Babe, is the stage rotating?" She yeah. was like, "He's on skates." And I was like, "Oh." I will say, <laughs> much like Beyonce, I'm not a fan of. Although I like his music more than Beyonce's, as far as performers go, yo, dude, that dude is. But here's my thing: he's level. also the king of the glide. Dude knows how to dance. Yeah, yeah, that's part of performing. He. Barely did any. I was like, I was, he, he's I was, nine nine hundred and fifty years old. <laughs> I don't know where he's gliding. He's younger than you. Is he? Okay, let's guess how old you, Usher is. You, I don't think he's fifty yet. Is he fifty? No, fifty two. I say Usher's fifty two. I say other oh, Usher's fifty two. What do you say, Matt? What do you say? Exactly, exactly how old I thought he was. Forty five. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. He's, he's not a dinosaur. Whoa, whoa. That's you, 10 years. You think I'm a dinosaur? Not a dinosaur. I mean, you, you have like a print on your face. Your mustache is not gray and everything else is. It's so, it's so like crazy. You got, it's like you got stripes or something. People think I grow a mustache. I have a beard, but my beard went gray, but my mustache didn't. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I love it. I'm not going to lie to you. I... I and people, it divide. It, it almost makes it look like it's an illusion on your face. It's like a dementia. <laughs> it's like a foreground, background thing. I'm like, what is real over here? And yeah. people also are like, how come some days your your beard's gray and some days it's not? Because some days, guys, I color it in, and some days I don't. I'll tell you the days that I do color it in are the days that I'm hanging around your mom. She likes it colored in more, so I color it in. Mm. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. I'm not. I'm, I'm at an age now where I don't care too much. Yeah. Uh, but, but, um, your mom does. Yeah. So I want her to be happy. Thanks. And I think she just doesn't want to stare at an old face. I don't blame her. Like a dinosaur. Not a dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaurs had very young faces. I would love to know where you got that fact from. Dude, don't make me Google it. Okay. Dinosaur young face. 
Not a terrible <laughs> rap name. Dinosaur Young Face? Wait, Young Dinosaur Face? Young Face Dinosaur? Now, yeah. I like Dinosaur Young Face. That's actually not bad. I always liked the rap name for uh, my brother Dan, Lowercase D. Because he's a small dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> it also could mean a whole lot of other things. Lo oh, yeah. I never thought of that. Oh, yeah. Lowercase D is hilarious to me. Do you remember, dude, walking? Were you with us that night where we saw that cat filleted in two in the old Matillaha neighborhood? Yeah, dude. Remember, you, we were. I remember, okay, so we saw that. You took a picture of it. You brought it home. I went, I then went out to go look for it, and it was gone because I saw coyotes running away with it. Dude, you, the coyotes were across the street when we saw it. You don't remember that? I think that was just you and Dan. That's the fillet, only fillet cat I remember. Oh, I remember there being three more arms or three more body parts that we found. Instead of down the street, they were in our front yard. You don't remember that? Why would they have been in front yard? They were so far away. Not the front yard, but like, the you know how we had the double property? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. The front house's front yard was on the street. For three straight days after you and Dan saw that, there was a cat body part. I on, do remember that. Dude, the first day, it was just an arm. The second day, it was like the back leg. And the last day, it was a head. I remember that. I do remember that. That was kind of creepy. And then it just stopped. Yeah. It was the fucking scariest thing. You didn't fuck with me that day, right? You weren't doing that? No. Do you think I'm going to care? hold on to a cat's head just for a joke? I would. That's what I'm saying. But I That's didn't. why I know. I did, and I wish yeah, okay. I had. Yeah, because something happened. I don't know why it was us or why it was there for three days straight, but the fact that we saw mutilated cat parts for four straight days was a little uneasy. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. I agree. Dude, I, I haven't way. really thought about that until again right now. And like that was that was that was an uneasy feeling. The the the, the one of the things, by the way, we shot last couple of days. Yo, know, I am obsessed with, with doing those voyeuristic <laughs> videos. Did you see the one I posted today? Yeah. I love how people don't think it's you. Yeah. So basically what I've been doing is I make I film myself. So I filmed myself out in front of well, I had these dudes, Nate and David fill me out in front of in and out one shoe on in the rain eating a burger and I had poured my fries into my shoe. No hat. And so it just looks like somebody's on an iPhone yeah. videotaping this crazy dude, dude who's high out of his mind dancing with his burger and pouring fries out of his shoe. And so I knew that if I did it with my hat off people would be like that dude looks just like you. Or I thought that was Josh for a second, but now I know it's not. It was astounding to me to see how many people were Amazing. like, "Amazing!" Were like, I watched this so many times to make sure it wasn't you. And yeah. everybody was like, "Same." <laughs> and not one person was like, "What are you doing?" There was a couple. There was a couple. There was that's crazy. Yeah. They, I, and so I'm. We're gonna start doing more of those. I posted once a day from out near your house. Mm -hmm. Yo, I think they like that one more. It, it was just, it, you saw the video and it looked like there was some dude practicing karate on a, on a stop sign. In a wig. In a, well, it didn't look like a wig from did, that far away. It doesn't look like a wig from that far away. I mean, I guess I just know you. Yeah. I mean, from that far away, it just looks like hair. Fair enough. Um, and, but it was pretty, it was your shorts and your tank top. Uh-huh. Yeah. It, it, I'm going to start doing more of those. It was pretty, it was pretty weird. It was pretty fun. I like it. Yeah, I liked it. You're going to have to film me on the road. That's fine. Yeah? Yeah. From the safety of the car? 100%. Yeah, or from like the hotel window. Might be funny. If we can see the ground, yeah. Depending on where we are in the hotel, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it'll be a little ways away. It'll be fun. We're, we're going we're gonna to make it. Yeah, we're going to definitely do some stuff. I got I to gotta figure it out. I got to bring some more costumes on the road. What do you think, by the way, of this idea? And then let me get to one other thing that I want to talk about. What do you think about this idea? You know, before you were touring with me, Saturday Night Late Shows, I would bring a trunk of costumes. And if you wanted to be in the meet and greet, you had to put something on. Okay. And so it was just pictures of just me and a bunch of people dressed in weird clothes. Okay. What do you think about doing that? It's completely up to you. I think, I think it might also, though, deter some of the people from coming into the meet and greet. That's fine. But it's more of the shyer people who just are like, they like your comedy and they want to come out and just grab a photo and head out. Yeah, well, then they're going to have to head out. Saturday Night Late Show. Okay. Not a lot of the shy people are coming out Saturday Night Late Show anyways. I guess that's true. Yeah. What do you think about that? Sure. Would, would that be something you'd be into? 
I mean, yeah, it might just be hard for me to do it while I'm selling merch and whatnot. Oh, so like, right. like I could just always have something on and then pop into photos. But then, you know, I, I have to keep the line moving. I have to do math. I have to, you know, talk to other people before they get to you. I have to. I'm still the roadie. You I know? know you are. I, I, I may be performing and pursuing some, but I am still the goddamn roadie. So I got I have a whole other side of our business and partnership to be taken care of. Dude, do you does Iman watch any of the Real Housewives? No. So your mom every now and then will just sit down, but when I say every now and then, like every six months, and just watch a, bu a bunch. And I got, I you know when I eat breakfast, I like to sit down with her, mm -hmm. and so she's watching this. And, um, you know, I believe in like energy and stuff. And mm -hmm. when I, after I watched it, I don't know how on my Instagram feed stuff about the real housewives came up. I saw this thing about Andy Cohen. You remember, and I don't even know who this dude is, Tom Sandoval. I think he was on, he was part of that huge, uh, scandal with Vanderpump rules or something. Okay. Not, not important. I saw, a vi I saw a headline that just said Andy Cohen, something like tells Tom Sandoval to get his shit together or something. It made me laugh so hard. By the way, th I've said this before. And I and by the way, it, it, Andy Cohen, he f saw a hole in entertainment and people needed more candy and he fed him candy. And people eat that shit up. Uh -huh. Candy, 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 candy. But of all the people to tell someone to get their shit together, here's the thing, dude. I, and, and again, I don't begrudge his business acumen. Mm -hmm. And I think, man, and I'm, I'm, I don't know anything about him. I'm sure he's a great dad and a great friend. But as a businessman, he's a bit of a scumbag. Yeah. Because one, he doesn't pay these fucking people. Right. And two, yo, dude, he gets this holier-than-thou shit on on the shows where where he's you know the where they get back together the reunion shows mm -hmm. who hired these train wrecks who 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 feeds them with booze who 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 fucking sets them up with these questions who sets them up to fail and by the way and I know Brandy Glanville right and and uh uh but yo dude they don't want her to come in and be normal they want her to come in and fuck shit up and by the way, they don't give a fuck what happens to her right. or any of these other women. And they, they end up not broken, but yo, dude, they feed them with booze and they end up not looking great a lot of the time. And for him to question that, yo, dude, that's you. That's your business plan is for these people to be train wrecks and to look like piles of shit. You know, that, all that stuff that happened in the Utah one where that woman got arrested and all this shit. Yo, dude, he hires them because of that. He's not hiring six women like your mom who are going to sit around and not drink and try to help each other. Right. That's not who he's hiring. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's hiring, and, and I know Garcelle too. She's far from a train wreck. But he's hiring people who are going to do this because it mm -hmm. makes good TV. Mm -hmm. So then for him to come on and pretend like he's this great dude and like, what's wrong? You need to get your shit together. You don't want them to have their shit together. Yeah. You need that for your fucking business. Yeah. So don't pretend like you're this dude who's looking out for the best for people. You want them to all be drunk and do dumb shit. Yeah. Good for you. But just say it. This is the thing that gets me. I don't begrudge anybody their shit. But just say it. Don't pretend that you care or be. It's like the people on Facebook. Where somebody says something, they're like, yeah, well, I, fuck you for thinking, or, you know, you should really support the animals. Okay, are you? Are you supporting them other than just screaming about it online? Yeah. It's like the people who got on Taylor Swift for giving that family $100,000. They were like, she's a billionaire. Okay. Did how you, much did you give it anyway? How much did you give? Because I bet you $100,000 is like a dollar to her. So did you give a dollar? To these families, did you do anything besides criticize somebody who is being proactive? Yeah. It's a fucking, that's my worst, my least favorite thing about social media. Mm -hmm. It's just everybody's quick to be like keyboard warriors. That's it. But nobody's doing anything. That's all people ever are, bro.
the internet was created, sure, to spread widespread information to everybody around the world, to for for whatever, if that's what you want to call it. The internet was created to turn everybody against each other. I will it, tell you it's just a bunch of people who sit behind their phone, behind their computer, behind their tablet, whatever the fuck it is, and they sit behind that keyboard and they make it sound like they are they're they're ready for a dog fight. They're ready to put in whatever it's going to take to make that other person feel bad if they feel differently than what you feel. And it's fucking stupid. It's dumb. It's fucking stupid. It's not a real thing. The internet is it's just you take everything people to pay take everything too personally and too seriously. Yeah. Whether it's about them or not. Yeah. Like, yo, I don't like Taylor Swift's music. Or like, you don't like Beyonce's music. There are people who go out of their way because they are wildly obsessed with an out, abnormously famous person who has no idea who the fuck you are, no matter how much you do. Yeah. So they go out of their way and they're like, oh, like, if I keep doing this enough, like, I I'm defending this person and she'll see it eventually or he'll see it eventually. It's like, oh, you guys just like, let everybody have their own opinion. It, it, I, there's no need to just sit behind a keyboard and say whatever you want that comes to your mind. And one thing, there's no repercussions mentally or um, emotionally for you or the person you're talking to. But also, who cares if people don't think the way you think? Why don't we all have civil discussions about it instead of just insulting people for no fucking reason to purposely hurt their feelings because they don't believe in what you believe in? It's fucking... It's dumb. Dude, I will tell you, I don't like Beyonce's music, but I am a Beyonce fan. I, I'm a yeah. fan of how she's always carried herself. I'm a fan of her personally, and I'm a fan of her as a performer. Yeah. Yeah, man. Fucking right. Yeah, dude. It, it's, uh, it's, it is what it is. I am not a fan of Taylor Swift's music. I know girl can throw down. She can write. She can perform. She's put out a ridiculous amount of crazy, music right? since she was 15. Crazy. Something like that. Yeah. She's put out countless hits. She's the only person doing three hour plus shows of entire albums in front of a hundred thousand people worldwide. Isn't that crazy dude. I'm not denying that's Bruce Springsteen shit. I am not denying that she is a superstar. I just don't really give a shit about her music. That's and that's just fucking. Do it. you do you there are three people that I can think of off the top of my head that you've just always had? Zach Efron. Yep. Well, that one, yep. was, that one was fueled by something. Okay. It was definitely fueled. Justin but, Bieber. I like Justin Bieber. Are you back with Bieber? I like Bieber's music. You didn't like him before. No, that was all. Yeah, no. 100%. Okay. I think that was also fueled by the same person, actually. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I think Zach Efron and Bieber are fueled by the same person. By the way, we were. watched that wrestling movie with Zach Efron. Did you Iron see Claw? it? Yeah, did you see it? No. That dude is fucking yoked. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. I was just like, God. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he's, he had a muscle coming out of his fucking forehead. Yeah, you know, he's if when he needs to be, dude, it's yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, hundred percent. I, I, I th he definitely had some help with this one, but I don't, I don't judge that. I think I'm, yeah. He does whatever the fuck he needs. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I started taking a tiny little bit of testosterone. Yeah, you started taking some preparation H. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just made a joke. Well, that, is that I don't understand the joke. Is preparation H testosterone? No, no. Oh, it's it's ass cream. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't. I t I I don't <laughs> I don't. Sh uh, I know a lot of uh, my friends shoot it with needles, and I don't want to do that. I don't need it to be that intense. But I started rubbing a little bit of cream on my arm, mostly for energy. I, I don't like. It's not really changing my body at all. Right. Um. But uh, I, a little, little adrenaline shot. It it just helps keep my energy up. Yep. I, I I I think you know if I get a little older and I start to lose, I'm not against do it taking testosterone. I know a lot of people do it. Mm -hmm. Bert does it, and Segura does it, yeah. and so I'm not against it. I don't need it right now, but I think I, I think I would do it eventually. Okay. Yeah. And take that over heroin. Yeah, maybe I'll do it like a double shot. Oof. One shot of testosterone and then one shot of heroin. Let's see what the fuck happens. Same arm. Just like this. Oh, I'd shoot myself up. Dude, I've had to give myself shots before. I do not like it. Have you ever given yourself a shot? No. Oh, do not like it. Do not like it. Do not like it. Doesn't seem like fun. I, I have was, to stab myself with a needle? No thanks. I was trying test uh, uh peptides. 
um, to help get rid of the mold. Mm. And, um, oh, dude, fucking fuck. I just, it was hard. I started not looking. Listen. Uh, I just don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it at all. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't blame you. Wasn't there one more thing you wanted to talk about? Um, oh, the, the, the Anthony Rendon thing? Oh, yeah. We should talk about that. Okay. We Guys, talk about this. This is, this makes me, I didn't even hear that this was said. And the fact that you said it right away, it makes me, it makes me angry. So this baseball player who's been injured and I think he signed like a, some crazy deal. Dude, he signed a, I don't know what it was, but it had to be close to 10 years, but it was like 275, 245 and, million dollars. And he makes 700, basically 700,000 a day working. Let's hear what he says. And seeing your kids maybe taking, falling in your path. Yeah, definitely not falling in my path. Um, <laughs> I do not wish this life upon anybody. Obviously, he has his perks. Okay, dude. So he's saying he does not wish that life, the baseball life, the upon professional anybody. athlete life. Yo, dude. Quit. 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 You whining. Yo, I'm Quit. sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I'm going to say this. You, you, I don't know how many years you've played, bro. You've had a, a career. I'm pretty sure you won a championship with the Nationals. He did. If I'm correct. He did. He's you know, been injured a lot. Okay. okay. I understand that. That is the life that you chose to pursue. Yeah, I agree. You chose to want to be a professional athlete. Do you know how many people choose that path and do not succeed? They don't even make it out of a high school, a college, a minor league, a double A, triple A. Yeah, dude. Dude, they don't make it past a certain level because they get to a point to where they realize this just is not reality. You made it. This is a dude. It makes me angry because this was my dream to be able to play in the major league baseball, win a world series, make millions and millions of dollars for not only all the work that you've put in, but for your family, for your family's family, for fucking generations. Nobody has to worry about a goddamn thing because of the hard work that you've put in. You don't wish that life upon anyone. I get it. You've been injured. That's part of the fucking deal, bro. You're with a team that when you get injured, your surgeries, your rehab, everything is paid for. You don't have to drown in medical bills. You don't wish this life upon anyone. Fucking quit, you whining bitch. Wow. Like, that pisses me the fuck off, dude. Like, and I'm getting emotional, man, because, like, I didn't make it to the high school level. I never did. I could have pushed myself further. I could have done what I wanted to do. Sure. But at that young of an age, it's defeating to not make a high school team and to watch kids, you know, you know, uh, whatever political it is. But to come out and say you don't wish this life upon anyone, suck my dick. Here's, that is fucking bullshit, bro. Here's what That's I would say. Bullshit. I, here's two things I understand. I understand oh. he's referring to the amount of injuries he's had. Sure. He can't walk. And I understand that he misses his kids. Sure. We all do. So what I would do, honestly, because... I would, if I'm a fan of that team, I'm going to have to boo you. Cut you. Get him the I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to boo you. And if I'm him, I quit. I quit because it's not fair to your teammates. It's not, if I'm in that locker room, I question every day how hard you're trying. And what you're going to put towards this team? So we can uh, dude, the a couple days ago, he came out and he said, it's not his top priority. Quit. I agree. I at this point Fucking quit. Yeah, at this point, I think you got to quit. And if you're doing it because you want the money, well, then guess what? Then, w then what are we talking about? Fucking quit. He has enough money to live. I, if I'm him, I step away from the game. I get the missing your kids thing. We, dude, I, I you did it. We did for it for a lot less money. For a lot less money, you're yeah. setting your kids up for the rest of their fucking life. To be able to pursue whatever it is they want to do. Do you know how incredible that is? Why it's the 1% top shit. Yeah. You're complaining about giving your kids and your family and your kids' kids and your kids generations of your fucking family to be able to do what they want with the freedom of that? Yeah. Shut up, bro. And Shut up. And I get... I I get that it's a grind. I do, especially baseball is a fucking grind. You know, oh. you talk to our buddy Kevin Euclid, and he's like, "It's a grind, dude." 
Well, what, I, what a privilege to be able to do it, you know? Just you, you it's it's that one you know for me personally. Like yeah. That, that strikes me because it's like seven hundred thousand per day, dude. His contract was like two hundred and seventy-five million. Let's let's cut his bitch ass. Let's. Like what, seven, ah, you can't. They're guaranteed. I know. I know. I know. Seven hundred thousand a day. Let's talk about what, what we, I would do. All right, day number one. What well, are you doing? Let's. Okay. Okay. And I get it because I get a check after every game, right? I get a seven hundred thousand dollar check or like whatever. It's like a direct deposit, right? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine <laughs> having to write a seven hundred thousand dollar check every day? I'd be like, <laughs> oh my God. every fucking day to write a seven hundred thousand dollar check, dude. I'd be mad as fuck. I'd be like, <laughs> God damn, dude. What would I do on first day with seven hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars? I don't know. Probably. Am I am I living in where I'm living right now? Like it's just like today, right here, where we are. Sure. I'm buying the house that I live in. Straight you, up. You're buying a different house. Hear me out. Okay. okay. Hold on. Okay. Buying that house. Straight up. If it takes that, if, if it's like, I get it's like an investment thing, I'd probably pay over asking and just be like, hey, this is what your investment would be over a couple of years, yada, yada, yada. Here's it all in cash, taking it. And then I'm waiting till the next day. Like for sure, but for sure I'm buying property. I know I'm buying a different house when I let a couple of those days accumulate, yeah. but that's now... Property that I will have someone else go live in and make, I know, with seven hundred thousand dollars a day, I don't need passive income. But passive income is always great. You sure? So I would buy that place and then probably rent it out to somebody to move it when I then move into a bigger house. Got it. But probably assuming I have around hundred thousand dollars left over, I'm going to buy a hundred thousand dollars worth of sneakers. Are and you? And then the next day with that other seven hundred thousand dollars. I'm probably going back and buying another three hundred thousand dollars worth of sneakers. How that is not even <laughs> my top ten. Oh, it's 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 right away. It's right How? away. There, look, if I win the lottery, I'm not going to tell anybody, but there will be signs. How? <laughs> <laughs> there will be signs. Yeah. <laughs> How? <laughs> How big a house are you buying? Um, and is it here in Vegas? I mean, look, with seven hundred thousand dollars, I would probably wait a month. A day, dude. Uh, uh, a day. Okay. Let me do this math real quick because I, I just need to like just make sure I'm, I'm well, looking. 10 days is 7 million. I'm looking at a month. So 30 days is 10 times 3 is 21 million. Okay. Probably. Is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> Did he make 21 million dollars <laughs> in 30 days? Matt, well, is that they, math they, right? They don't have a game every day. Pretty much. They only have one day off. How much? All-star break. Google. Google how much, how much money he makes a year. Yeah, okay. You know what? It must be $700,000 per day of work in the last three years. They must be adding up the time that he was injured and still making the money. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That must be because he's been injured a bunch. So what's his contract? Um, it was like $245 million. Good Lord. Um, it doesn't say how many years. I'm sorry, it's I'm just hard it. to hear somebody... Making that much money for play, for Ooh. playing a game, dude. Seven year, two hundred and forty five million. God damn. Okay, uh, so he's he's making 30, holy shit thirty five a year. That's fucking crazy. So he's not making twenty one million a month. I knew that sounded a little bananas. So he's making thirty five million a year. So if you're making thirty five a year, and let's just call it one hundred and eighty games, one hundred and sixty games, one hundred and sixty two. Yep. So one hundred sixty two into 35 million. Hit me. 162 divided by 35. 100? No, 100. Yeah. I think it's 35 million divided by 162. Right? Yeah, I did that wrong. Okay. So it's 35 million divided by 162. This is how much he makes a game if he played every game. $216,000. Okay. That's still absurd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absurd. That is the craziest thing. But yeah, what that you don't tells wish, you, you don't wish that life upon anybody. Eat my dick. But what that tells you is, is he play, he's played a third of the games in the last three years. He still gets paid full salary. It is such an insane thing to say out loud. Ah! It, it is so 
tone deaf. It's so ungrateful. Yeah. You're an ungrateful motherfucker, yeah. dude. And by the way, I, I listen, I don't, I'm not walking in your shoes. I haven't been injured as much as you have. Yes. I haven't had to do the rehab. Sure. I haven't been depressed like you have. Pick I, your fucking words better. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. But it sounds so fucking tone deaf. Oh. To be like, I don't wish this $35 million for playing baseball. Baseball. Goddamn American It's not football, dream. man. It's not hockey. Yeah, you don't have to worry about CTE for the rest of your life. Yeah, dude, like, now he's got some knee issues. I get it. Yeah, okay, sure. Walking with a cane is better than fucking being, having brain damage. Yes, I would agree with that. Like, that, there's no question to that. We've... You and I both have had multiple concussions. I think we already see the over, like the the time gone by between then, and definitely seen some effects from you know us having our fucking brains sloshed around. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like him, yeah, I got to maybe walk with a limp, walk a little bit of cane. Maybe I don't cane, know. I don't know what his injuries are. Maybe can't chase after your kids as you get older. Sure, at least you're not living with. I bet you. That's crazy. People die from CTE. I bet over the you years. he is just getting killed in the media. And guess right? what? Is it, yeah, is and, it and guess, that happened on the 19th? Yeah. And guess what? What day is it today? It's the 22nd. Oh, it's, he must. I, I, I can't believe I haven't seen more about it. I just heard about it today. Bro, the spring training, he's probably eating in the cafeteria by him fucking self. He's not popular. Here's the thing. Like, he's not a locker room dude. He's just he can't be. He's it, just an ungrateful old fuck. I, I, I'm not, I don't want to get so angry with him. Uh, that that you can. That statement pisses me off. Yeah, that statement. I'm with you. Personally, I don't know him personally. I've never been able to play professional baseball. I've never love, been able to play past a high school level. That personally, as someone who had their dream crushed in yeah. front of them at a young age, that pisses me off. Dude, I appreciate that. I, I pissed me the fuck off. I, I think know. it's super funny that he says that it does have its perks. Yeah. No shit. Can I tell you something Ugh. else that some people don't know? I bet you his per diem. Oh my god! I didn't even think about that on road on road so games. The, the per diem doesn't. The per diem isn't added it's into part the, salary. Of the salary. I bet you his per diem for the year is more than what most people make. Google what. Baseball players per diem is. I've never even thought about that. Oh, dude, that's something that people don't talk about is they get money to eat. Now they also get fed in the clubhouse, right? Yeah. But they get a per diem. I bet you it's different per guy, but we're not even talking about his, his per diem is probably more than the average of what people make. What does it say? Well, that's actually way lower than I thought it was. The daily per diem for players will be $117.50 for in-season meal and tip allowance when on the road if the club does not provide a meal. The club does provide a meal. Your per diem is thirty-four fifty. Oh, that's way less. Which is less than what my per diem was yeah, as a PA on the road. way less than I thought. I, I stand corrected, everybody. 117 times Details eight. from the new 2022 to 2026 collective bargaining agreement, Baseball of America. I hope that all those guys give their per, per diem to the clubhouse guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, or if you're going to go out and eat one meal, you should just, whatever you have left, like if the meal is 50 bucks, you better put the rest of that bitch down. And for just, the clubhouse guys. No, or for the people who you're, if you're going out to get a meal, or someone is delivering a meal, and it's the only meal you're going to eat for the day, and you have 50 or so dollars left over, that should be your tip on top of yeah. whoever's serving you. Yeah, like, you're right. What are we doing here? Yeah, you're right. You, may, you have a $50 meal? Great. 100% tip. That's fucking lit. A $50 tip may not be giant, but it's big for people who are coming to serve you. Yeah, you're right. You so, what else do you get? Anything you want to talk about? Yeah, actually, you know what? Before we get out of here, first and foremost, thank you guys again so much for stopping by and always listening to us. Um, we really appreciate you, Daniel Beach. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for coming out. We're off this weekend, but my girlfriend and I are still on a plane. Stay tuned for to see where we're going. Um, but before we get out of here today, I would like to talk about one thing and one thing only, Josh Wolf. It's time. Oh, no. You get the measuring tape? All right, how are we going to do this? I got to take my shoes off. You got to take your shoes off. And you're going to stand up against the wall. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. And also hat off. So, look, you actually might be above my pay income. Ah, yeah! <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> you were like, honestly, you might have been like 5'10 and three quarters. Thank you.
Daffer had to talk Look at that, mic. everybody. This is what happens when human beings don't wash their hair for a couple of days. And you cut it while it's under a hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, that's just so you know, the top is, that's all dead hair. I mean, dead hair. It grow it it grows. It well. was like it was like just above five ten and a half. Ooh, it feels good to be alive today, everybody. Say it nope, again. No, nope. he's he's just above five ten and a half. Yeah, but say somewhere between five ten and a half and five eleven. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, probably somewhere right there. Okay, so I think actually when I saw it, it I think you round up to five motherfucking eleven. Let's go. Yeah. I just need to hear you say, I was right, me, and you were wrong. Technically based on the bet. Yeah, absolutely. What do you mean technically based on the bet? You were That's at, the only thing we're talking about right yeah. now. Yeah. So yeah, you were definitely right about it, but I still, in my head, I still know that you're not 5'11", so that's all that matters. That's not what the bet was. No, that's fine. That's not what the bet was. I'm just saying, for my own personal sake, I just know you're not 5'11", which is fine. You may, you may have won the bet. I've won the battle. So how? Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, you won the battle. I won the war. How? I was never saying I was 5'11". Before we brought the measuring. I'm closer to 5'11 than I am to 5'10". Sure. Way close. Sure. Sure. Way. Sure. But before, well, before I was like, we'll get a measuring tape out. And you're like, all right, I'm probably, I'll, I'm probably under 5'10". And you were like, I'm above 5'10 and a half, but I'm not 5'11". But you, you know, but before That's that. That's what I said. And exactly what I am. Right, I'm but five you're, ten but, and three quarters. Actually, if that's what, if the by the measure five ten and three, not five eleven. It doesn't matter. That's not what the bet was. Yeah, that's fine. I know, I know. But you were like, technically, you got to round up. Technically, you're still not five eleven. So that's what I'm saying. You won the battle. You won the bet. One hundred percent. You were right that you were between five ten and five eleven. You didn't win anything. I did mentally. In your own head. Yep. I'm well, not talking about warfare against you. Well, good for you. You I won guess. the battle. I won the war. That's what a all great way to go through life. Yeah. <laughs> victory. <laughs> Just claiming victory all over the place. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm going to start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and That's we'll, amazing. Yeah, You're just yeah. going to be like, I'm fucking victory. Yeah. You won the battle. I won the war. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, Josh Wolf is still Wait. not 5'11. Um, he is 5'10 so and 3 quarters. the goalposts on this conversation because you lost. Just say I lost. I was I wrong. Just said I, I told you I said I was wrong. Yeah, so why are you moving the goalposts to make it seem like you won somehow? It, again, not winning your mental battle, winning my mental battle. I you like know what I'm saying? Gotta keep it. Gotta keep it fresh. Gotta keep it strong going throughout the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. One other thing. Yes? Want to go high roller slots this weekend? Brad Williams is in town. I'm not here. <laughs> okay. That's what, that's what I was saying earlier is you're on the, you're not on the road this weekend yeah. and I am. I'm going to go see Brad this weekend, I think. All right, let's go Monday after the show. Guys, Monday night Vegas shows have been fire. Let's go Monday after the show. You don't want to... All right. I, I won't be here this weekend. Yeah, I won't do it. This <laughs> I won't do it. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Uh, next time we're on the road, Huntsville, Alabama, I believe it's the 28th, the 29th, and then the 1st, we're in Atlanta, Georgia. So come see us. Um, all tickets are... Where are we the week after? Where are we the week after? It's the... It's the oh, yeah. Spokane, Seattle, Missoula, Montana, Hell I yeah. believe. Uh, the week after that, I believe we are Dallas, Texas. There you go. And then the week after that, Liberty Township. I think Nashville, oh, Nashville, Tennessee. And then, and then the last way, guys, those Nashville shows are going to be ridiculous. Bonkers. The people who are coming through to this show are going to be, it's, it's yeah, yeah. bananas. And then the final weekend in March, we will be in Liberty Township. We will be in Cincy, Ohio. Um, right? Cincy. Yeah. So come see us. Can't wait to see our bird brain boys. I need some more. I need some more, some more hoodies and some more good, good stuff. So we're going to walk in and say what's up to them. Um, all the other dates are on the website, comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates and tickets. Thank you guys to the new people, to the old people. Uh, and when I mean that, I mean subscribers. Or if you're old, thank you. Um, thank you guys for stopping by, for chilling with us as always. Tell somebody you love them. Do something nice for them today. Let me say something. First of all, thank you for acknowledging that I'm over 10 at 5'10 and a half. But still under 5'11. Whatever. 
wasn't the bet. I wouldn't have bet that I was 5'11", but I would have bet that I was over 5'10 and a half. Because you knew you weren't 5'11". Yeah, of course I know I'm not. But you've been walking around saying you're 5'11". That's why... 5'10 and three quarters. You don't... I don't like to say 5'10 and three quarters. It's like saying somebody's 37 months old. You don't say that. Yeah, I'm just going to see what you're saying 5'10 because you're not 5'11". So it works out. Whatever. Uh, I'm so psyched that we did that measurement today. Um, and uh, I'm psyched for you guys to see what we shot in the last couple of days. I'm super psyched for this energy um, that you all have been fueling us with. The shows have been amazing, everybody. I cannot explain to you the type of energy that we feel at the shows and at the meet and greets. Thank you all so much. I'm super grateful for all of you um, for listening and for watching and for coming out to the shows and for supporting Jacob and I. It means so much. Um, I, I might do a... Uh, well, it means a lot. Stay tuned. This year is going to be wild. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.